Hi team, so I've been playing around in um, the courses to see how we can embed our own uh, material into the course to make it our own and to make it much more fun for the students. And so what I did is I've been creating um, some YouTubes and like a welcome aboard and um, you know efficient uh, note taking, creating your pacing schedule. Um, and so I tested um, how to contact Ms. Tara Olbert. And so this is a YouTube that I've embedded and so, of course, um, everything is closed captioned because it's required uh, by federal um, law. If we are receiving federal funding, we are going to caption it. So um, I've, I've used Camtasia and um, it's captioned there. If it is feedback that is um, just one-on-one -on -one with the student, you're only using once, then you can use Jing, which is up here. And I'll create a how-to on how to do that as well. Uh, so right now I am in my course, um, this is just my test develop it, developing course um, to show you guys how to do these um, alterations. So if we go into our syllabus, and as an instructor we can add things. So I went to add, and then I went to edit editable content. And here uh, we get this nice um, you know, toolbar here where we can switch to HTML sources. And so um, I'm going to go over to my YouTubes and I'm going to do my welcome aboard video. And uh, this is just, you know, a, a little bit about me and, um, and a, a nice welcome to my students to make it more personal and to um, create more of a sense of community within the course. So, um, I don't know why I just copied copied the uh, web address. Uh, we'll want to go to share and then embed and then you can copy this frame here and then you'll go back to uh, where we um, created an edit editable content uh, window here. So right now we, um, we're we going to click on that HTML and then we can just paste that um, that embed code that we got from YouTube and click update and then we can give it a name and then here we can also oops if I don't delete it <laughs> we can say watch this video let me know if you have any any questions and then we can add the uh, the content here and click update so now we can um, click done. And then when we go over to actually view the course, we'll now see the welcome board video here and our text and then we can click play. And say we are going to create uh, something that is not um, part of the course that we want to add to our gradebook. We would just do add and then we can do assignment and then here we can put how many points, um, put it in a category if you want to. Uh, you can assign a due date you can say how you want the students to submit it. Do you want it to be a document, a web address, or URL, document template, notes only? And if I wanted my students to create their own um, website for my web design class, I would select that so that they could um, send me just a URL. And then include in final grade. And then um, minimum points possible, maximum points right here. And if you want it to be extra credit, you can check the box. And then um, I can do HTML if I had a YouTube to um, so say uh, this creating an Animoto video. Maybe I want my students to do that. This is a video I made. So I would just do share, embed, copy that, go over here, paste that in here, update. And then I would say create an Animoto video give it some points and um, I'll just leave it there or maybe I can oh activity its own category or we can just leave it there 
All right, so I want them to send me the web address of their Animoto. And so sometimes you'll see this box. Don't worry, as long as you click done and then you go to view the course, it will be there. It just sometimes it takes a minute. So creating an Animoto video. So see, now it's showing and the students can play it in there. So I hope you have fun with this. I'm really enjoying uh, being able to customize our course.